Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to get head tracking for your games for basically free. All you need to do is download a couple programs here and have a working webcam. Um, any webcam will do as long as it is working. Uh, but the better the webcam, uh, the better it will work. So let's go ahead and download OpenTrack. I'm going to include the link in the description of the video. Uh, so for open track it is recommended to download uh, open track 2023.3.0 because the latest one seems to be a uh, buggy so they did recommend to get the uh, 2023 version 0.3.0 um, I'm using Windows 10 you can download the portable version or the setup version. I went with the setup version so just go ahead and click this and it will download. I don't have to download this because I already have it. Uh, all you have to do is save this um, setup.exe file or the portable file. Depends. And the next one is AI track. This is gonna be the input so this one you can download the, the latest one because they didn't mention anything about being buggy or anything so I this is what I did I download the latest one and I download this zip file again I already have it so I don't have to download it again so here it is open track just double click the setup uh, executable file here and have it installed and then uh, for AI track after you uh, download it you have to uh, what do you call it uncompressed zip and then uh, it should you can have it have the folder anywhere you should be able to find the application here I already have it open uh, here and here so this is open track all you need to do uh, once you open up open track open up AI track as well uh, once you open up open track change your input to UDP over network because you're going to be using AI track as an input for open track. Once you did uh, did that, everything should be should be working. Um, so you go ahead and start and start tracking. There you go. It's tracking. You can also enable preview to see uh, how it works. So this is basically AI track tracking your face. So basically, you need to have a webcam. If the the webcam is has poor quality, it's gonna work a little bit uh, less uh, of a. It is gonna work worse. So get a better webcam. You must. Um, this is a 1080p 60fps webcam. I've used this for over 10 years. Seems to be working fine. Uh, and you need a face. If you don't have a face, then it's probably not gonna work. Disable the preview because you don't have. You need to see my face. The other thing I uh, set up is I uh, bind a recenter button. Scroll lock for my recenter button. You can have it for anything else. It depends on your setup. And one more thing is I have the pitch inverted because in the game that I'm using. When I look up, it seems to be looking down. So I have it inverted so it looks up when I'm looking up and it looks down when I'm looking down. So I'm going to show you how to have this uh, enabled in Star Citizen. You can have this in other games as well but I'm going to show you in Star Citizen. So let's go ahead and launch Star Citizen. Okay. So you can see it's already working for me. But how I got it to work is basically have this go to uh, where, what is it? Uh, options, comms, uh, face of IP and head tracking, and head down over here to have the source to track IR. And that's it. That's all you gotta do. And then. If you want it to work in FPS, you can have this uh, 
important to know because it, it gets a little bit uh, confusing here because this is disabled so you want it to be no if you want it to work in FPS but I don't really want it to work in FPS because it gets a little uh, weird so I'm just gonna set it as is so as you can see here it seems to be working quite well for me looking up and looking down and then if it gets a little weird uh, just recenter then make sure you have your head centered and then you recenter the shit should be to check up and down uh, I'm gonna show you as well what I mean by uh, this so when I have it uh, invert uh, not inverted this is what happens this is me looking up and this is me looking down so all you have to do is just have it inverted up and it looks down perfect also what I did uh, especially in this game I want to um, I want the game to look to do more rotation but I don't want to tilt my head or move my head a lot so what I did is I went into mappings and uh, I changed the uh, the curve a little bit so let me recenter here real quick so what you have to do is you look uh, a little bit to your right maybe to, to where you think your maximum rotation is and then it a little bit here and then you set your your curve here your button here and then you click it and then you place another up here so it can go a little bit further if you were to turn your head so this is what I like already because I don't want it I want it to turn a lot without me turning my head uh, or breaking my neck <laughs> to turn in the game because I will also have to keep my eyes on the screen right you can also do this for okay you can you, you this is for your you can also do this for pitch so if you want to look really high up I changed the uh, mapping really high up and then uh, I guess it works for down as well you can also do this for roll but roll I keep it uh, Keep it stock. This is how the curve is when it's stock, when it's uh, in default. X, Y, and Z I never touch because it doesn't seem to work for me. I think X is... Um, X is... Left and right. Yes. And Y should be height. Up and down and Z should be forward and back I don't know correct me if I'm wrong but uh, I don't usually touch this one because I only want the head tracking for this game especially just when I'm seated in the ship and uh, how it is and I find it very very helpful uh, especially in this game for space combat and it's pretty pretty done nifty to have so you can have this kind of uh, feature without paying, I don't know, 70 ringgit or what is it, 20 bucks for Beam Eye Tracker. It's basically the same thing, but you have to pay for an application. Or even uh, Toby, where you have to buy the hardware itself. Of course, the hardware is going to be better at tracking. But I don't know. Uh, if you want to test out head tracking in the first place before you commit to buy any hardware especially um, an expensive hardware just give this a try first to see if this is something you would like to have um, something you would be interested to try out so yeah that's it um, open track and AI track that's all I have to say that's all I have to do um, if you have any questions 
you can you can i i guess i can answer a few questions down in the comments down below but uh i'm no tech support for this thing right if you do have any problems try to check the uh the issues here in open track or ai track see if anyone is also facing the same issues and then if you have like very niche issues maybe you can try to ask me i can maybe try to help but uh, again i'm no tech support i'm no tech wizard i'm just here relaying the uh, message that you could have this for free all right that's it see ya bye